given. This is for 11 standard students and we are starting from first unit the living organism. In that first chapter is the living world and this is the part first video of introduction. So let's start of your lesson. This lesson is about all the living world and in this chapter we will complete the following to topics. First we will see the introduction then we will see that what is the living. After the what is living we will see about the diversity in the living world which is the unit first unit of your 11th uh, standard which is useful for uh, NEET also and board exam also that diversity in the living world. Then we will study about the taxonomic categories and the taxonomical aids. So let's start with the introduction of this chapter. First introduction. When we look at the living world, we see a lot of variety. There are millions of plants and animals and there are some there are some which still remain unknown for the scientists also and research is still going on for uh, such plants and animals. This chapter first in class 11th of biology deals with the study of such kinds and the diversity of the organism. So here students will learn about the certain rules and the principles for the identification and the nomenclature and also the classification of the organism. So if you can see here in the picture that how that biosphere on the biosphere there are lots of, of the living world is there and the living organism is there and how wonderful is the living world. The wide range of living types is amazing. The extraordinary habitats in which we find living organism, be it cold mountains, then forest, oceans, fresh water lakes, uh, there are also deserts or hot springs, leave us speechless. So the beauty of galloping horse of the migrating birds, the valley of flowers or the attracting sh shark or deep sense of wonder, the ecological conflict and the cooperation among the members of a population and among the population of a community or even in the molecular traffic inside a sail make us deeply reflect on what indeed is life? This question has two implicit question within it. The first is what is a technical one and six answer to what living is as opposed to the non-living. And the second is the philosophical one and six answer to what the purpose of life is. So, we shall not attempt answering the second question. So, in this lesson, we will try to reflect on what is living. So, the life is very unique, complex organization of molecules that express itself through the chemical reactions which lead to the growth, development, adaptations and the reproductions these are all the unique characteristics of the living organism these characteristics are not for the non-living organism but in the living world we will study about all the living organism and the objects exhibiting growth development reproduction respiration and other characteristics of life are designed as living beings. So next question what is living? 
actually when we try to define living we conventionally look for the distinct characteristics which is exhibited by the living organism like you can see here what are the characteristics of the living things like they they have uh, the growth which is the unique characteristics of the living in the non living things like uh, your rocks let's let's take the example of rocks in the rocks there is a no growth no reproduction no ability to sense so growth and development is the unique characteristics of the living organism next respond to the environment obviously only the living things are able to respond to the environment then the different levels of the organization this is also the unique characteristics of the living world the all living world is made up of the cells you know that and you will study in the further lessons of the 11th chapter that what is cell how the organisms are made up of with the cells then second characters is the reproduction which is also the unique characteristics of the living organism which is not found in the non living things so such type of unique characteristics of the living organism we will study here in the first chapter living world so keep watching this video and wait for the part second video thank you